the waiting game is painful, wouldn't you say? I mean, I'm guessing if you're on this live and you're gonna give me any more than two seconds of your time, you might be looking around your nation, wondering if she'll survive, wondering how much she can change in just a short period of time. But maybe it had to be this way. Maybe it's actually our fault. What? I'm blaming us? I actually am. Here's why. I think we are too complacent. I think we are lazy. I think we are checked out. And don't get me wrong, I know what they've done. I know they've created a rat race and both parents are running at both both angles and just running all over the place and their kids are at school all day and then they're with a the nanny and, and all the things and, and we're all just running. I get that. But the waiting game, we have to use strategically. The waiting game has to be you and I recognizing that there's a full out agenda to change our culture. There's a war on our kids and for our kids. And they are very specific in what they want to do right here, right now. But guess what? It is a small minority. I promise you that. There is a bigger majority that whether you and I agree on everything, I'm going to guess we don't, our alignment is this, live and let live. Because I trust that you will do what is best for you and yours. And I want the same respect and freedom to do what is best for me and mine. Welcome to America. And the waiting game is painful because we're sitting here watching an agenda full out in our face, blowing up. And believe it or not, I still don't believe we're going to be absolutely suicided as a nation, but that's for another talk. Right now, the waiting game is so that you recognize it's time to get in the game. It's time to pull our heads out of the sand and recognize that if we don't stand now, win. Because you can either stand and speak now or honestly forever plan to be silenced. There are more of us than them. And I don't even like the us and them, okay? Because here's the thing. I don't want to talk parties. I don't want to even talk value systems. Instead, I want to talk about, do you just kind of want to live your life and be left alone? Do you want to be allowed to make the decisions that are best for you and yours? Do you want to be allowed to just live your life? Yes. And so... While you're probably not going to be the one to run for governor, although God bless Christy Noem and DeSantis and all the good ones that have reared their beautiful heads, what can you get involved in? What can you be just with and in and make your voice known? Even if that means just standing confident and in kindness, with your conviction. Friends, I have not paid attention to this narrative for almost a year now. Y'all can, I mean, I sat down with a woman at a table and said, the world doesn't shut down over a virus. I literally said that. I can give you the exact date. I believe it was March 11th. It might have been March 10th. I can go back in my calendar and look. I remember the exact conversation. Who is in charge of pulling the strings. It is time that we forget us and them and we recognize that united we stand and this nation is built on I do me, you do you, live and let live. This is America, boo! This is America! So walk around tall in your convictions, confident and kind and recognize we're on the same team. I'm not going to let anybody pull in strings, make decisions for you, me, or the little ones that we have produced out of our own body, blood, sweat, and tears. It is time to rise up. Use this waiting period of what feels like torture to recognize what you can get involved in or with and go be the best person and version and addition to that something. Okay?
The waiting is painful, but it's time to dig deep and recognize it's our own fault we got here. We've been checked out and we've been absolutely fat and lazy and complacent and all the things that spoiled Americans are. It's time to rise up. It's time to wake up. It's time to stand up. It's time to be bold, always kind, but confident. Be confident. The minority is not going to have their way no more. Mm -mm. There are way more that just want to live and let live. Be blessed.